and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a quick tips video. Quick tips for screen printing. Okay, and I wanted to share a little trick that I recently developed because as many of you may know, I use a lot of masking tape in my shop. And, um, you know, the re one of the reasons is, is, you know, I do a lot of jobs where you have to go up and down with different designs and I'll put, I'll put one design on half the screen and another design on the other half of the screen and both of them have to be printed. So uh, to tape off, you know, different portions of the screen, I use uh, masking tape because it's very cheap and, you know, when you're going up and down and setting jobs up like this, you can take the tape off and throw it out as opposed to screen tape, which is very expensive. It could be like $5 a roll. You know, masking tape can be less than $2 a roll if you find a good place to get it. And, you know, so I use a lot of masking tape and I use it to tape off the bottom of my screens as well. I use it on the substrate side to tape the space between the emulsion and the frame edge. And, you know, I use solvents and uh, everything on press with that tape. And then when I go to reclaim, um, you know, depending on how long the tape has been on the screen and how much solvents it's been exposed to will, you know, determine how easily it's removed. But this new little trick that I just kind of thought of, you know, one day uh, really helps out in pulling the masking tape off, especially when you, when you use it for, um, you know, taping the emulsion, you know, taping the space, like I said, between the emulsion and the frame edge, you know what I'm saying? Um, that piece of tape, because it's flat and it gets a lot of solvent and stuff, can be, you know, can be kind of um, difficult to remove. Here, I'll show you, because you guys know I do, I do, this is how I do mine, okay? See, so I use the tape like that. And I put it right around the edge, all right? And you can see even this screen here has the trick on it. And I'll show you really close up. But basically, I dog ear both sides of the tape. So all I have to do is pull it this way. And if it were to happen to tear off, right, because it's just paper tape, then I go to the other side and I just pull this tab. Bam. Okay, and there it is. And you know, this, this screen has been used actually several times and it's gotten some solvents and stuff on it. So let me just, I'll just show you really quick, close up my little dog ear trick with the masking tape and uh, that's it. Okay, so see what I'm talking about? I use, I like to use my masking tape to tape this little spot here, you know, between the emulsion and the frame edge, you know, and I tape on the substrate side because I don't like my tape to be in the way when I'm printing in the ink well and getting ink all over it and and uh, I find it's just easier to remove uh, from the substrate side like this. So basically all I do is I take a piece of tape and I dog ear, you know, just tab that side, slap it down, then I tab this side, bam, and that's it. And the tabs don't get in the way of anything, you know, they're, they're, they're a little bit you can see the tabs like this, but they don't really get in the way of anything. They keep, they keep pretty flat and, you know, that's it. It's just a little dog gear trick. And then, like I said, then you can just remove it very easily like this and then see if it were to tear. Like, say you're going and it tears like this. Ah, oh, crap, you know, then you just go to the other side and pull it off. And that's it. Little dog gear trick for working with masking tape. All right, so that's just a nice little tabbing trick for working with masking tape when you're screen printing. And I do use screen tape uh, now and then when maybe I'm setting up a job that uh, I know I'm going to use the screen many, many times. I might use screen tape, but for the most part, I use a lot of masking tape. And the trick with masking tape is you want to try to take it off as soon as possible if you know you're going to reclaim the screen. You know what I'm saying? The longer you leave it on and the more solvents it gets and stuff like that, the more difficult it will be to remove. However, if you use this little tapping trick that I just showed you, it will be a lot easier to remove, even if it tears a little bit. And I use the tapping trick even inside when I'm taping off stuff because look, bam, I, I don't even have to touch this barely. 
and I can just pull this whole thing off because of the tabs. Bam. Done. Okay, now I could flip this around, put this in, take this other side off on the bottom, you know, and good to go. All right. The shop is like totally thrashed. So I got I to gotta clean up now. So, um, or maybe I'll make another quick tip video and then I'll clean up. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Everybody, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate your time and attention. And uh, if you like what you see, you know, please remember, rate thumbs up, like the video, comment below, and please subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.